Did you know some fish eat birds? It's usually the other way around, right? Think about it. It would seem much more difficult for a fish to catch a bird than for a bird to catch a fish. But it appears that fish are finally standing up for themselves and giving the birds a taste of their own medicine. And just like in the movies, these fish have evolved and devised ingenious ways to prey on birds and other animals you never would have imagined. If you think this is incredible, wait till the end of this video. I'll bet you'll be as shocked as we were. Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Forever Green. In this video, we'll take you on a journey into the deep blue, witnessing some astonishing hunting techniques of fish and their bizarre food choices. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed by the unique and most strange attack tactics of these marvelous creatures. Number 20. Wells Catfish To start us off, we've got the Wells Catfish. Wells catfish are the largest freshwater fish in Europe, with a maximum length of nearly 2.5 meters and a weight of as much as 360 kilograms. And with their enormous size comes a large, insatiable appetite. The Wells catfish have been known to decimate the fish population in areas where there is no natural predation. And when this happens, they turn to whatever they can find in the water. In this case, pigeons, who have lost their fear of people and other predators, forgetting that there are more dangers in the world than human boots. You see, pigeons often visit lakes to preen their flight feathers and even bathe. When they do, the oil from their plumage attracts the whale's catfish, which is nearly blind but can smell food from almost 10 kilometers away. Since the pigeons are so merry and naive, the Wells catfish has come to consider them as an easier alternative to fish, which are way more stressful to catch. So just like a croc waiting for a deer to have a drink of water at the edge of a river, the Wells catfish patiently waits for the right time to snatch a pigeon for itself. This pigeon won't be coming back for a drink anytime soon. Number 19. Northern Pike Another fish with impressive size and an unusual appetite is the northern pike. Northern pike, or pike for short, are known to be aggressive, voracious hunters that prefer to hunt alone. Found in the Holarctic distribution in the northern hemisphere, particularly in deep lakes and slow-moving rivers, these fast predators will attack and eat anything that fits in their mouths. If it fits, it's food. From other fish to amphibians, crustaceans, birds, and even their own young, pikes will eat anything to survive. Northern pike usually feed on ducks swimming in these waters, with only the adults being spared. The ducklings, however, are an easy pick as they paddle along the water's surface. Pikes are fast, and when they attack a duck like this, it has little chance of escape as the pike's mouths are filled with razor-sharp teeth that aren't for decoration. But unlike the Wells catfish, pikes don't particularly enjoy a feathery meal. Number 18. Murray Cod A couple of things seem off about the Murray Cod. First, it's not actually a true cod. And second, like the other fish in this video, they have an insatiable appetite for flesh, especially that of land animals. Famed as Australia's largest freshwater fish species, these humongous fish can grow to lengths of over 1.5 meters and weigh over 200 pounds. They are aggressive and extremely territorial, viciously guarding and attacking prey with reckless abandon. Their large mouths enable them to eat pretty much anything, such as other fish, lizards, and even snakes. They lay in the murky water before attacking their prey from underneath. This guy was caught red-handed with a duck still in its mouth. Cormorants have also been victims of these ruthless predators. Sadly, Murray cod have been drastically overfished, leading to their declining population. Number 17. Timon The Timon attacks its prey with speed and precision. These guys are another monstrous killer known to decimate their prey population. Being a close relative of salmon and trout, Timon can weigh in at over 65 pounds and measure over 6 feet in length. 
the size of a full-grown man. Like their cousins, they have an enormous appetite and hunt animals that don't breathe through their gills. These ferocious hunters can burst out of the water to attack rats, ducks, and even bats that may be unfortunate enough to end up in the water. And when they hunt fish, they do so in packs, which have earned them the moniker River Wolves. And when the going gets tough, the tougher Timons eat the not-so-tough ones. It's pretty tough being a Timon. It's either eat or be eaten. Number 16. Archerfish Meet the most ambitious fish species in the world, the archerfish. These omnivorous, opportunistic fish no longer eat what is in the water. They have evolved to eat whatever floats on the water. And since prey, especially insects, perch near the water, these guys have resorted to using their spit or a shot of water, depending on how you see it, to shoot down their prey from nearby branches. They've mastered the physics involved in dislodging prey at almost five feet above them, using a stream of fast-moving water. How'd they pull this off? Well, they compress their tongue against a groove in their mouth, creating a tube to channel the water. If their mouths were big enough, they would eat birds and other smaller mammals, too. Number 15. Mud Skipper While the archerfish doesn't have to leave its aquatic terrain for food, the mud skipper, as its name suggests, leaves the water and hops across the mud to find food and, sometimes, love. Mud skippers depend on the mud for insects, worms, and remains of dead animals. Interestingly, they rely on land so they don't, wait for it, drown in the water. As strange as that might sound, they have to periodically come ashore to breathe air through their gill, mouth, throat lining, and skin, just like amphibians, to stay alive. When hunting for food, they use their pelvic fins and large muscular pectoral fins, which look like legs, to move along the mud in a movement known as crutching because it resembles a person walking with crutches. Curiously enough, mudskippers do other fish business on land besides feeding, such as mating. And these guys can even climb trees, obviously not too high up, to find love. Number 14. Piranhas Anyone who's seen the movie of a failed lab experiment on fish called Piranha would be excited to see these fish make the list in today's video. But before going any further, we're sorry to break your hearts, but piranha are not really ravaging killers that tear humans to bits within minutes. Despite how they're portrayed in movies, there's never been a report of fatal human casualties due to a piranha attack. That said, of all the over 30 species found in South America, there's none more feared than Luis Suarez, the red-bellied piranha. Red-bellied piranhas are the most revered, vicious species in South American waters. They have the sharpest and greatest bite force of all of their kind, capable of reducing their catch to bones in a few minutes. Using their shredders, these hungry killers take turns biting sizable chunks off their prey without even chewing. Birds, capybaras, other fish, their own kind, you name it. These guys will eat anything to satisfy their insatiable appetite each day. There have also been reports of piranha biting the toes and fingers of unsuspecting swimmers clean off. One piranha might leave a nasty wound, but an entire school might leave nothing behind. Number 13. Tiger Shark What's a list of fish that can literally eat anything without a shark? A tiger shark. But we won't be talking about their man-eating qualities, as they even see us as too much work and noise for such relatively small prey. So we'll be sticking to a prey that's become so easy for them to catch. Birds. Yes, birds. Despite their reputation as the second most notorious man-eater, tiger sharks have discovered a way to fill their bellies with feathery meals. When migrating birds travel to breed, usually over long distances, they sometimes get confused and lose their way. And since they can't use Google Maps or stop to ask for directions, they continue flying until they get exhausted and fall from the sky. Somehow, the tiger sharks are at the right place at the right time to make light work of the already weary birds. 
So if you thought tiger sharks exclusively feed on marine animals and water birds, now you know they found an exciting new variety. Number 12. Silver Arowana The silver arowana is a freshwater fish native to South America. Found in the waters of the Amazon, Oyapok, and Esquibe river basins. Nicknamed the monkey fish for reasons you'll soon discover, silver arowana can grow up to four feet in length and are very aggressive. Get this, the silver arowana can leap out of the water to snatch birds, snakes, and insects hanging from an overhanging branch. Amazingly, they can leap up to two meters out of the water. Usually, their prey doesn't know what has hit them before it's too late. One minute, they're on a branch sunbathing. The next, they become fish food. Researchers believe the silver arowana prefers land animals to fish, and sometimes might eat spiders and beetles when birds and snakes are unavailable. Number 11. Mantis Shrimp Wait, wait, we know what you must be thinking. And the answer is no, mantis shrimp don't eat birds or land animals, but they do have a pretty cool hunting technique. They boast one of, if not the most sophisticated vision in the world, coupled with the fastest strike. A mantis shrimp packs a punch on par with the force of a bullet and is believed to be able to see cancerous cells due to their ability to detect polarized light. Did I also add that they are relatively fast? They have club-like appendages that they use as weapons of mass destruction. And this crab is about to get some. Having locked in on his target from a distance, the crab was a fool to think it was safe in the confines of its shell. The mantis shrimp unleashes its hammer claws, accelerating from their body at 50 miles per hour and delivering a punch with a force of over 1,500 newton. And lunch is served. Other than cracking open hermit crabs like we would with peanuts, mantis shrimp also enjoy feeding on fish, worms, and other shrimps. Before we move on to our next fish, we have a quick challenge that'll take you just five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. Leave us a like, smash that subscribe button, and turn on notifications, and you'll win 10 years of incredible luck. Try it, it actually works. Number 10. Eel Catfish The eelfish is another fish to have evolved to eat food not traditionally in its domain. Although they do feed on marine foods, they have a guilty pleasure of snacking on beetles, which they have no problem leaving the water to catch, as the beetles ideally won't come to the water to be eaten. So when the eel catfish spots a beetle chilling close to the water, it wriggles its way out of the water to get close to the beetle before raising the front part of its body above the beetle and bending its head towards the poor guy. It then uses its jaw to grab the beetle and returns it to the water to be made into beetle soup. They can make this remarkable trip thanks to their spines, which have evolved to allow them to bend in order to catch the beetle. Number 9. African Tigerfish While the silver arowana focuses on insects and birds hanging from tree branches, the African tigerfish specializes in hunting barn swallows that fly above the water. And if you've ever seen a barn swallow fly, you'll know that it would take even much greater speed to capture them on the go. But the African tigerfish was built for this kind of hunt. They have a sleek, foot-long body and fang-like teeth. To catch its prey, the tigerfish might outright chase the bird from the surface of the water before snatching it out of the air. Or it might wait underwater and leap out at the very second the swallow flies past. Number 8. Snakehead Fish The snakehead is another fish that can hunt on land. They are obligatory air breathers like mudskippers and must come to the surface periodically to avoid drowning. So while they are at it, they often stop by to pick up some groceries in the form of water birds, insects, rodents, and snakes. Underwater, they prey on shrimp, goldfish, bream, crabs, loach, bluegill, and more. Although primarily native to Asia, they've been found on other continents where they are believed to have been released by those who bought them as pets and could no longer care for them due to their size at maturity. Number 7. Rainbow Trout 
Next, we have the rainbow trout, which is a very colorful fish covered with black spots. But their appearance isn't why they are in this video today. They also hunt by leaping out of the water and are very feisty, especially when caught. A researcher once caught a rainbow trout, and after a very short but fierce battle, he cut the trout open and found 20 shrews in its stomach. Amazingly, it wasn't known that rainbow trout ate mammals. But this discovery led to further research that proved, in fact, that they prey on mice and other mammals living around their watery abode. It was found that the rainbow trout would catch these animals from the banks when they wandered too close to the water. What business do shrews and mice have in the river? Well, they like to hunt insects along the riverbank and sometimes have to cross very shallow streams to reach their destination. The rainbow trout then sees them and they become easy pickings. Number 6. Electric Eel Another bizarre predator is the electric eel. Although you might be familiar with their mode of attack, we bet you might not know that they are obligatory air breathers, or that they eat amphibians, birds, and small mammals. Found in the Amazon River, the electric eel defends itself and hunts by discharging enough electricity to knock out a horse. So it's easily able to fry a small mammal in a heartbeat. They have over 6,000 specialized electrolytes that store power like little batteries, waiting to be triggered. The power they generate is enough to kill a person by electrocution. Sometimes they might simply stun the person in the water, and the victim might die by drowning. These aquatic power stations can grow up to 8 feet in length and weigh up to 50 pounds. The only way to properly handle them is by wearing rubber gloves. Number 5. Frogfish The frogfish might not be known for its size, speed, or voraciousness, but they are masters of disguise that eat literally everything and anything that fits in their stomachs. Stretchy stomachs that can hold food twice their size. The frogfish is built differently as it has a fine antenna stemming from its head, which it uses as a lure for unsuspecting prey, while blending perfectly with its surroundings following the potential meal with only its eyes. The lure could look like anything from tiny squid, a worm, or crustaceans. It's like pretending to be a rock holding food for a fish before turning the fish into its meal. And when the prey is within striking distance, it quickly opens its mouth and sucks it in whole. It has the fastest bite in the animal kingdom. The frogfish eats crabs, fish, and shrimp. But unlike the cuttlefish or octopuses, it takes the frogfish days, if not weeks, to mimic its environment. Number 4. Brown Trout The brown trout have their relative lack of natural predators and competitors to thank for their sheer size and teeming population. They've enjoyed dominance over their territory in places like New Zealand and have grown to massive sizes measuring about a meter in length and weighing in at almost 15 pounds. Their large size and decimated prey population have led them to develop a bloodthirsty penchant for mice. Mice often wander along a lake, stream, or a river's grassy areas. Fortunately for the trout, and unfortunately for the mouse, they sometimes fall into the water or get swept away by the current, leaving them at the mercy of the trout. Aside from that, they also eat insects like nymphs, grasshoppers, beetles, fish eggs, mollusks, leeches, turtles, tortoises, amphibians, and crustaceans. Anything to fill their large, hungry bellies. Number 3. Largemouth Bass The largemouth bass are originally native to North America, but they found their way to many different parts of the world. They love living in areas with abundant underwater vegetation supporting their ambush-style hunt. When a largemouth bass is about to strike, it lunges out of its hiding spot and uses its wide mouth to create a powerful suction that pulls its prey into its mouth, swallowing it whole. This duck was lucky not to fall prey to one of their sneak attacks. Notice how it didn't bother going for the mother duck? Like the pike, an adult duck can't fit into its mouth so it sticks to the ducklings and other small birds that land on the water. 
these guys are definitely highly opportunistic feeders. You can imagine this guy's shock when he pulled up a bass and found a frog in its gut. Number 2. Muscalunge The muscalunge is another fish closely related to the pike and found in North America. However, the muscalunge is the bigger, more aggressive cousin. They can grow up to 8 feet long and weigh nearly 70 pounds. They also live in slow-moving rivers and lakes, where ambushing prey is much easier. The muscalunge uses a combination of immense speed, power, and razor-sharp teeth to catch fish, rodents, and even birds. Due to its size, the musky, as they are often called, can comfortably eat a mother duck and its ducklings. Other waterfowl also risk becoming lunch, even if they are fully grown. Being opportunistic predators, they don't have a meal preference and will eat anything that looks tasty and fits in their large mouths. Number 1. Giant Trevally Meet the Giant Trevally, one of the fish species capable of calculating the airspeed, trajectory, and altitude of a bird just so that it can catch it. The best part? They didn't even have to attend high school. These large fish are found in the tropical waters of the Indo-Pacific, where they usually hunt alone. But they congregate once there's an influx of fledgling terns that are total noobs at flying. These rookie birds often fall into the water, where the trevallis pick them off. And those that fly too close to the water aren't spared either, as their predator knows a thing or two about taking to the air. It's all the more remarkable that these fish can grow up to 5.5 feet in length, weigh up to 180 pounds, and can still propel themselves out of the water at such great speed. I guess the love for food has a way of bringing out the best in all of us. And with that, we've come to the end of today's video. Which fish do you think has the most remarkable hunting technique and strategy? Be sure to let us know which you find the most fascinating in the comments below. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more amazing content. Thanks for watching and bye for now.